Illinois, Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you here today from the American Pistachio Growers Annual Conference. I'm here with Judy Hirogoyen uh, with APG, heading up a lot of the marketing efforts here. And uh, we've had some exciting news. We've had Dr. Oz. We've, we've had uh, all sorts of dietitians from sports teams. And uh, it's just been a really exciting conference here in Monterey. Uh, one of the breaking news that uh, from the results of recent research is showing anti-viral, uh, antimicrobial properties in pistachios, meaning, you know, with all of the talk uh, like coronavirus and, you know, whatever's going to be the next one, there always seems to be some kind of disease that just goes across the globe. Eating pistachios is something that's going to to really help people fight these diseases, right? Well, let's, let's, let me explain to you what happened. There were actually three studies done in the UK and in Italy, and those three studies each showed that pistachio extract um, in a Petri dish with, um, with um, bacterium and uh, with uh, viruses, in particular the herpes simplex virus, which uh, according to Dr. Oz, 40% of the population has that virus in their system all the time. Uh, and then uh, bacterium such as the uh, MRSA virus, excuse me, MRSA bacterium, which is, uh, uh, the problem is that a lot of the traditional antibiotics have become, uh, the diseases have become resistant to them. So science is looking for novel approaches to this and they're going back to looking at plants and the properties in plants. What they found in all three studies was that pistachio extract not only thwarted the bacterium and the virus, it killed it at the highest concentration levels of extract. So uh, they're excited, the researchers are very happy about it, uh, thinking that this may be a novel approach for oral or topical applications. We don't know yet because we have to take it to the next level. But in the meantime, uh, if a natural whole food like pistachios that has so many other health benefits to it can help the world uh, in that way, then that would be fabulous. And the connection to coronavirus is purely um, accidental. Uh, the, the study was, the last study was just published in Plants, uh, which is a scientific journal, and it happened to be published at the same time of this, uh, this terrible uh, virus that we're all right. afraid that, I mean, of. Right, would have known. <laughs> right, right, it just happened to be that way. But um, we hope that we can pursue this further and maybe be contributors to the good of mankind from a pharmaceutical standpoint. Yeah. Eat your, eat your medicine. Emphasis on farm, right? Yes. Yeah. Farm. Well, thank you, Judy. I think this is wonderful. And, you know, when you're thinking about taking your vitamins, uh, you know, vitamin C especially to boost your immune system, consider uh, a handful of uh, pistachios well, as well. Pistachios, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we look forward to hearing more about these studies and, and, and how we can incorporate those in our diet. To, to fight viruses and, and diseases, because that's something that's always going to be a problem, afflicting man. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Dr. Oz spoke at the conference, and, and one of the things that he was, he was very adamant about was that we really need to get back to nature, back to eating food like it came uh, out of the ground, and uh, back to looking at food as medicine. And that's a, that's a growing concept now around the world. People are really trying to get back to nature. And so um, if we could just get back to our eating habits away from the highly processed foods and uh, good farmed and, and ranched and fished products, then uh, we'll all be better off for it. And hopefully they can work for the good of mankind in the field of medicine too. Great. And pistachios are definitely poised to be a big part of that. So thank you very much. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.